Hi, my name is Chaplain Angela, and I serve at CMF, California Medical Facility, and in Sonoma County Jail. One of the things that I have loved about the work that I'm doing in the prisons and the jails and the other facilities is this concept of learning how to identify ourselves with the divine. One of the things that we talk about a lot, of course, is this concept of God. And sometimes people are uh, uncomfortable with the concept of the word God. And so we like to talk about God as love. As we were discussing this idea of love being an ever-present force in their experience, I was talking about loving our enemies. One of the guys uh, said, how can I possibly love my enemies? You don't know my enemies. My enemies are terrible. They've done horrible things. I don't know how it's possible to love my enemies. So I started to say, well, can we at least think of the idea that maybe God loves your enemies? Maybe we're not to the point where we can love them, but is it possible that God loves your enemies? And he said, yeah, that's possible. And everybody in the circle agreed, okay, that's possible. I asked the question that St. John asked, which is, how can I love God whom I have not seen if I can't love my brother who I have seen? And I was talking about this idea of loving our brother, that the standard for loving our brother or our neighbor or even our enemy is really loving ourselves. That's our standard. Christ Jesus said to love our neighbor as ourselves. And I was just about to go into this as the standard. And this same inmate who was so concerned about loving his enemies, this look crossed his face and he said, so you mean if I'm not loving my neighbor, I'm really hating myself? And there was this moment where it seemed like the air was just sucked out of the room and everybody in the circle immediately identified with what he was saying. And it just, it was a powerful moment. It really moved me as well. He's been in prison since he was 14 and he is now in his 50s. Uh, not surprisingly, this same gentleman had not contacted his lawyer and had not done anything about parole or trying to get out of prison, but without him even lifting a hand, he was contacted by his lawyer and uh, the lawyer said that she wanted to overturn his case or have it reviewed by the judge. And I don't know the details of it, but this was a powerful instance of the fact that he did nothing of his own will for this to come about. It really felt like on the verge of being something miraculous. And this was uh, the result of watching his thought about his experience change. That this idea of loving our enemies and love is not outside ourselves. It's what we are seeing as true about our experience. And the spiritual growth in this man was so evident by this incredible opportunity to review his case and um, start to see and experience freedom in a whole new way.